check. One, two, one, two. Come on. And the vultures descend. <laughs> Here they come. So I heard uh, some Barstool Radio action may be occurring. Had to do it for the people, you know? For the people. Uh, yeah, we're doing a little, little last second Barstool Radio. I got a song choice by Frankie Borelli. I wish he was here to be on the ones and twos. Uh, but we'll open up with that. And we'll talk a little burner list. And take some calls. See what the people had to say. It's Mr. Steal Your Girl. It's Mr. Steal Your Girl. Bottoms up, bottoms up. Yeah, mic check. Can you hear me? All right. Yeah, like right here? Yeah. All right. For those that don't know, it's been a, a crazy week at Barstool, a lot of drama. We have three main characters here. There's Hank, Rhea, and Marty Mush. Hank, who uh, started out as a uh, producer, you know, media guy, uh, all the way back to Milton days, uh, was dating Rhea, who does Chicks in the Office and a lot of other stuff. Um, they were dating, they've been dating for I think four years or so. They broke it off about a year ago. Recently, within the past couple of days, or about a week now, it came out that Marty and Rhea have been together for who knows how long, possibly a month, possibly a few months, possibly further. Um, and it's just been a little bit of drama in the office. Where do I go from there? So this all came to light for Dave and Dan over the weekend when they saw the picture on Reddit and popped off, off so on social media. Rhea told Hank and asked him not to talk about it. Hank, of course, didn't want to talk about it, so he didn't. Uh, but Dave and Dan found out in a few short words, Big Cat pretty much said he is no longer fucking with Marty Mush. I haven't finished. I had to go do a podcast with Robbie and Big Ab. Should I keep watching? How was it? Podcast. Great. I haven't finished. Is there, we go, is there a time stamp where you actually stand up for Hank? Rhea called Hank and talked and told him, like, hey, like, me and Marty are seeing each other. Like, we would thought respectfully to tell you. Hank said, I have no problem with Marty. I have no problem with him at all. I have a problem with you. Mm -hmm. I really, really like her, and the thing, ha and then we're like, okay, now this is a thing we need to tell Hank. The thing I could have done better. The mistake I made, I should have reached out more to him than just taking it as he's okay with me, because I knew he was mad at Maria, and you know what? I don't. I told you, it makes me happy. Um, I am dumb, and I, I could have talked to him more. Somehow I catch a beat. <laughs> Mount Ryder more. We ride for one man, this guy. This is Skip. What's up, Colony? <laughs> Jerry, newest member of the Power Alley. You took him from me. Yep, I took Jerry, but he's uh, now gonna be sitting here. I don't know if all the stuff has been moved, but I, I told I told the previous person who's sitting here that they're gonna sit somewhere else going forward, and uh, I'm happy Jerry's here. Look at him. Yeah, you're best out of seven. Alright, let me finish this real quick. I said, we were, like, we talked, like, you should probably call, because I, like, respectfully, you guys have history and stuff like that. Okay. And if I called, like, I, I don't think I should call right away. Um, they talked, he said that he had no problem with me. He had a problem with her. He felt disrespected. He can feel however he wants to feel. I don't know what happened in the relationship. I'm just, um, so once I heard that, 
I made the mistake of not reaching out right away. I kind of took it as he doesn't want to talk to the person dating his ex-girlfriend. You know what I mean? Where it's still wrong with me. I should have. I still should have reached out. I reached out yesterday, which is way too late. But once I heard he had no problem with me, I was like, you okay. didn't think it was necessary. I didn't think. He, I, I just didn't think like he wanted to. Why do you want to have to talk to someone that like you don't? Like he's yeah. not that mad at me. But I still think I should have. That's where I went wrong. Heart wants what the heart wants is what I guess what the, we're going with. Yeah. We live in New York City. Well, how many? How many? How many people live in New York City? Nine million. Mm -hmm. I guess you can only you know fish in this pond. Uh, it's a it's an all time barstool day right now. It's a big one. A lot of a lot of a lot of people in the office. Yeah. Have how well. funny is that? This isn't your days, Nate. You're a Tuesday Thursday guy. Monday or Wednesday. Oh okay. Oh okay. <laughs> you know there's something. although a lot of people are ducking too. I feel like yeah. people are like I'm you, not trying to catch the trap trap. You know that you know it's a, a a spicy day when when the dog is just buzzing around like chatting <laughs> it up. Just, just just like a little bee just floating so around. I had a film in for Tommy. I just. So body. Tommy, I said, Tommy, you want to be the third chair? And even he was like, well, it's too rich for my blood. I, I Mr. Like Gossip. Yeah. I like the drama, but you know, I, I like watching the drama. <laughs> well, now but you got to give us been... all your opinions on it. Yeah. Yeah. Who's right, who's wrong, what team are you on? I've always just been Team Tommy. Team Tommy, <laughs> that was a good answer, actually. All right. I don't have a take, honestly. Um, Sass wanted to say something about the Marty Rhea stuff, though. Oh yeah, I was, wait I was waiting on you, Sass. People want to know what you think Marty and Hank should fuck. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> one of the, actually, you're gonna, <laughs> Nick, one of the guys who's there. Gotta get these bad boys plush. What does that mean? My lips. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a frictionless environment on this face. <laughs> yeah, Hank got railroaded. I feel bad for my boy. I actually made, said a statement last night. Marty always has a pink Whitney hat on. I don't want him wearing it anymore. No more pink Whitney hat for him. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not down with that. I don't think you ever fuck around with anyone's ex when you know the person. That's just my personal opinion. Um, also, having said that, I'm coming up on 40. I have two kids, so when I'm talking about office relationship drama, I feel a little ridiculous. But I don't ride with Marty now. Hank's my guy. Citrus, Massachusetts, same hometown. Small coastal town south of Boston. Me and Hank came up there. So I'm a Hank guy. What do you want me to say? What was your reaction when you saw the Brady tweet? Oh my god, I couldn't believe it. I kind of think that made it worth it for him almost because Brady tweeted about him. Who was there last night? It's like that wasn't even Brady, that was like probably his handler. I'm like, Brady's not allowing these people to tweet anything they want from his account. Brady knows what's going up on his account, I'm guessing. I think that it's probably both. I don't think he's necessarily typing it, but they're not like putting I stand with Hank and Brady could then be like, what the fuck is this? But it was an Edelman retweet, right? No, it was a quote tweet. So he typed, it wasn't even like a retweet, he typed words, he said... Yeah, like, let's be honest, Hank something. right now is like, I got Edelman and Brady tweeting about me, like, in the end, I'm probably over this. Dude, I talked to him this morning, and it looked like, it looked like he just won a Super Bowl. He literally said to me, he goes, this was all worth it. Well, he's fucking on top of the world. There's probably women out there, all over him now, because he was like, the, he was getting busted on. Hank, <laughs> do you think, thank you, and Marty? <laughs> What's up, bud? That was last night, did you win? Yeah, I did win. You did? I caught fire. What'd you have? Actually, PFT's all mad at me. I had, I had, uh, I had penguins. Me and Grinelli, only guy. I then had, uh, it was a Benajad shock bet. Then I was like, Panthers next goal when they were down two one. That's when PFT lost. Oh, it. I saw that clip. But that I was, was like, I'll root for the Caps after, and then they tied it up, and, and then, then they lost. won. Dude, but then I lost. Uh, How's every night? over hit? I guess we could talk about it on PFT. I have no idea. I mean, Elio just it was the same as the regular season. Elio bankrupted me. Cause he, you know, he the picked, overs, the overs are like, they're like twenty two and ten, and he's zero and five. He's, he's picked four overs, and then last night, and he lost last, night, last night. He picked Panthers regulation, and they won. <laughs> yeah, in overtime, it's actually impossible. Mr. Ice he's is doing. cold. He's zero and five. He's cold. I mean, I think at some point That's he'll it. catch he, I also lost money to him on the golf course, and then the syndicate, which I don't know if you heard, like us betting together on the horses. Oh, he, you guys just he cashed it. Yeah, he cashed a ticket before I took the red eye, and I just... So you, you're part of that, though. Yeah, but you just... He just, he, your... he just got the last ticket. What, was it a big win? It's like eight grand. So that would be sweat, two grand three a guy? Three ways, yeah. Oh, three ways? But it's never went down? Best, so. he, said, he said he'd send it. I was like, just let me... Just give it to me next time you see me. He's buying a new pizza, pizza oven with it. I would...
What do we got, Dan? We have the two. Four would be for everyone. What? In a box. We all have different bats, but the four is the one common denominator. Wow, he's really just going to sit him back there, huh? <laughs> yeah. You're going slow. Real slow. situation or just grinding it there's nothing better this is the first race that to a strong opinion elio so we're all on the six here oh shit i didn't know we were live fuck here he comes you better come really hard three sucks. here he comes come on come on rosario come on now come on now rosario come on Come on, come on, Rosario. Yes, come on, 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 Rosario. Come on, Rosario. Come on, Rosario. Come on, Rosario. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Dummy. Whoa. Dummy though. Nice. <laughs> He's just snapping. He's snapping to himself. He's still going. <laughs> that horse is flying. One. Did you just give up? Come on, you. Get him! Come on, you! Come on! Come on, you! Come on, you! Stay like this! Stay like this! Come on, stay like this! Come on! No, he's... Unbelievable that seven's just... I won the hook, but I didn't get the attack, though. When I lose, I get upset. When I get upset, I eat. I went and bought all this. This is race nine. You got my ticket? You guys look dope. Me too. Thanks, you look like you're in ketosis. <laughs> Not yet, dude. Next week. What's up, my dad? What's up? Huh? Rude. How we doing? Looking corporate as ever. Yeah, I should have worn shorts. It's all right. Black, too? Psycho. It's uh, Robbie's wearing pants too, though. So. You know, Robbie's a pants guy. No, I was terrified of another Duncan Awards incident. I didn't know we, we could wear shorts. I brought yeah. shorts. I would have worn it. I thought it was like, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I thought. You got sunscreen on? Uh, yeah, I, just put it on, yeah. I was going to say, you need some. I, they told me 50, they, they're like, it's 50 SPF. It's great. And I, I don't think it's enough. I don't think it's nearly enough. All right, boys. AFC fucking Raiders, dude. We got Devontae now. Look at this. This, this car is so fucked. It looks like there's a limo behind us. But that limo is actually over there. And there's like a truck behind what? us. Wait, wait, what? Is that a different car's camera? But watch. Wait a second. So imagine. Have such a clean, uh, imagine how hard I thought that weed was a second that. ago. That wait, how is it? Yeah, that doesn't what physically is make sense. Happening? How can the camera be over there? I noticed that earlier, but I had a How can the camera be over there? Wait, what? That's magic, dude. dude. That's a glitch. That's blame. That's right up glitch. I've never seen a glitch like that. That's like a little, yeah. <laughs> an entire glitch. What happened? Billy said football's got the best job since Ali and he's being dead serious, so. Has Billy ever covered a, another fighter? No. Not? And he's, he was, you know, indoctrinated with their camp for like a week and a half, so something tells me. Over this maybe series, maybe he's oh, been influenced. Hey, this is basically like the Youngstown Rough and Rowdy, isn't it? <laughs> I was saying it's, it's kind of like Youngstown Rough and Rowdy. Honestly, it's not There's that. There's literally a jib on a crane. What's a jib? So Chris ran over a 40 to one shot. Ran rallies to get the runner up spot. How did that horse come in second, Dave? I don't understand how the one. How? How did the one not at least finish second? That was crazy. Like Canelo, this is like a preview. Like Billy's the ball, he's a little bigger. You have a lot more canvas to work with. There you go, Spider. I just keep hitting him in the gut. Cut him up. 
Not going to be the best fight that happens in this ring this weekend, though. The .com slash part. It makes no sense. Like, the horse was not there. It, it, it wasn't there. It didn't exist. Down below this section three. Um, so you can go into and grab people who you want to talk to and try to get them up. Um, Sorry. Sorry. You gotta have Dude, this is a super crazy question. I, well, I have a question for you, but I think it's his own question yeah. that's coming out. So, we were trying... <laughs> the headband's hurting him? Yeah, take it off. Yeah, it's off. Why? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's your guy. I'm not I like it. Yeah, I like it. Right, it's yeah. not the other guy. So. Alright, ready? Walk up to Caleb, dap wait, him up, wait, and okay. then do it. Let me do it. Alright, so yeah. then I'm just ripping it. Yeah. So I'm dapping him up. And then ripping. Oh. What's the dap like? What's the purpose Let's of it? Just roll through it real quick. Like that? Yeah. I think you want to rip the, pull the rip. Pull, you want to pull, go, go by the. Yeah, yeah. That's how I would put my hands in both of your. Yeah. Like this. And then rip. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to rip it. You will. You will. You will. I did this by just rubbing my leg. There, there's, right, right, it's right, tissue. Right. I mean, only got one. Just follow through. Just follow through. Yeah, yeah. all right. <laughs> Those are my only pants. <laughs> that, was better, that was better than I could have ever imagined. Oh, <laughs> the new pants? How did they rip like that? <laughs> It went straight down. <laughs> that was perfect. That was perfect. You got hybrids on now, dude. They're half no, pants, they're, half they're shorts. Really old. Ripping old jeans. Yeah, like dudes walking up to our dudes and putting their hands in their pockets. Yeah, those on already when Big Cat pulled the pants down. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just pull a bag of pants over? Did you pull those out of your pocket? <laughs> out of his ass. Okay. I was crashing that other old thing, like. What are you doing? What's going on with you? I, uh, everything's falling apart. <laughs> like th these pants. Like, I just wear them down. My, my pants are too small. You're staying. This room is a fucking dump. What? You, I said you're oh, look who's. <laughs> who's he got? He texted me before. He's like, you going? Boston guy. Saw oh, yeah. Can you fix this? I, I can't reach it. Uh, I don't have the arms. Well, first of all, your thing, like, is just totally, you have, like, you're, like, backwards. Yeah, well, I mean, how, how, how am I supposed to reach it? You just, I, it's just on totally wrong. What are you trying? It's I, all twisted. Listen, I don't have arms. That has nothing to do with arms. You're fucking... I can't, I can't reach in the back. Who do you have? And, Ten? No. Come on! No, there's still a ways away. C Come on! Who do you have? The ten. Come on! Don't do it! Come on! What's his odds? Come on! Come on! Come on! Yes. yes. What do you have? What is A it? A thousand bucks. What is it? Eight to one. I gotta like burn these clothes as I went on the rug. Fucking uh, the only race I bet the small small because I got no money. What do you mean? Do we have money to lend? I got no money. Fuck. Only one. You know what? You know, here. I feel like you're white, but like. No, but I, 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 let's go try to get money and I can take your ticket. I can get yeah. cash. Okay. See? No, it is nothing. These are. It's a bow tie, they're not easy to do. Where'd your things go? Real close. <laughs> it's getting. <laughs> it's like crazy, hold on. Yeah. Thank you. So, yeah, but this is, I can't, I, I can't get it down. That's a, well, that's just, I don't have the arms.
Thank you. That can be the entire part of the solution. <laughs> yeah, that was that the whole thing. Like, I think we have a better chance of getting our money back, like, playing roulette. Maybe not, I guess, but, like, I don't know. Like, the, I, I just, what, like you said, I already have a gigantic ticket, so I'd have to, what, do something. But it's like, then I, I guess I take out, I take out. All right, forget it. I mean, I'll go do it. No, I mean, I, I don't need to do it. I, I guess it would be like I'd, I'd take Tabia over five horses or something. Two. Who has sired Tava and Cyber Knife. And he also has 50% of the first. I didn't do it. You did it. I definitely didn't do that. <laughs> we got our winners all day. That <laughs> ain't the one the biggest like, long shot of all time. I may need some fucking hair gel. This was fierce wind. Right in here? I think I can handle that. <laughs> yeah. All right, James here too. Perfect. Oh, Perfect. Yeah, free show right now. We're live. I did get a warning. We're live. We're live. We're live. We're live. We're live. We are live. I don't want to go in because you guys are going to be live. So, live. Nope, we're live. <laughs> we just went live. It's like, be careful. They may be live. So yeah, they're live. Can handle it. I, I'm losing like respect. It's just like, watch out. They're live. Um, you mean on like Instagram Live? Correct. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Instagram Live and Periscope right now. Okay. That's Shout out Raisin Canes. Shout out Raisin Canes. We're raisin doing the pre-show. We didn't have enough time because the Kentucky Derby finished late. Let me retweet this. So we're doing a quick live here and then we're going down to our, our spots. You can buy it. DAZN.com slash Barstool. We got five fights we're calling. We're calling all of them. There's an extra one I didn't realize. There it is. This is why we're live. Who's, this who's is he? why we're live. Who? Mark Castro. I have the info. We have the info. No, I thought I knew about Castro. Okay. Zhang. They were I knew about to, Zhang. Uh, Wonder Boy. I, I have Zhang to win under four and a half rounds. I have Castro to fight to be under eight and a half rounds. We, uh oh. This is bad because Dave and I uh -oh. uh, said we're not going to tell each other our bets. Wait, well, so who's the fight like I have? We have the same GM bets. Montana? Question. Or above eight and a half. Green room question. Oh, go ahead, Large. Gisov. Wonder yeah. Boy Gisov. Qu from Uzbekistan. So you have Giasov, Montana Love, Mark Castro, Zhang, main event is five. Can yeah, I have a question? Green room question. Green room question. Who do you think is going to win that question. fight? I, I, I would say, and this is the one for me, Nanote is the guy, Gomez. I like him in the upset. Uh, Giasov. So can, I, can I ask you a question? You, but his, you first, uh, his first name is like Shakram. So that's what you'll see. Shakram Giasov. Okay. All right. I asked a green you room question. You bailed on me before no. I started winning. Yes, you did. That Rudy, night? I'll just ask you. Yes, you bailed on me before, Ryan. Um, am I, am I a clown if I unbutton the top button? Because I'm I, uh, I, I didn't Let's call the Montana Love upset. No, I did. I'm, ch I'm literally No, we, he, he was wrong, wrong on everything. No. You're wrong on everything. No. You're wrong on everything. No. Wrong on everything. <laughs> okay. Fashion is pain. Did, can I unbutton this large, the top button? I'm literally choking you. I think you should. Okay. How about that fucking horse? Did you see the video? 80 to 1. Did you see the video? Danny? Yeah. Did, did you see the video? No. Danny was recording us. Yeah. Because we're like, if we win. What did he so have? I went to get the phone. He's like, I had it. I'm like, what do you mean you have it? That's one of the biggest upsets in the history of the Kentucky Derby. You won? You had it? Yes. I think we have it. The lady at the thing goes, nobody's betting 21. I got betting. I don't know, let's see. Right? 21, right? This is as big a shock as yeah. I've Hold on, yeah. Oh, shit. What was his odds? I put him in one. Well, I mean, do you have everybody there, though? Yeah, it took every single horse. <laughs> 80 to 1. What? 80 to 1. 80 to 1. I got him to, that's him, uh, to 6, 12, 12, 5. So how about 80 to 1? 80 times 20 is what? 1,600. What a turn of events that was. <laughs> I heard that on the FaceTime. What did he have? He had him to win. How much? 20 bucks. And he had him, That's no, what, 1,600 bucks? No, and he had him across the board for 10. Oh, that's 4,000 bucks. Holy fuck, he was 80 to 1. I don't know if my math's right there. No, I'm, my math is not right. No, he, he won probably a little, like, close to 2500 bucks on a $20 bet. Uh, 400 No, he won more like 400 What? For 80 to 1 on a $10 bet? 80 to bet? 1? 
It was no, he has 20 to win on him. Oh, he had 20 to win, yeah. 80 to 1. 20, 80 times 20 is what? 1,600. I'm actually happy for him because you, have, you, you, you don't know him. He is, every time I walk in the office, I don't want to like, say this on a live broadcast, but he po- picked out his tickets, and I think he bet every horse. Yeah, no, 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 that's what I was going to say. He had a no, no, that's what I was going to say. This Danny, Danny, when you walk into the office on like a Wednesday afternoon, and he's got his little iPad out, and it's like, what do you got? And he's like, I just put a little on on this game, and then he lists off like 16 games. You want to know. Billy, how fast can you eat the banana to end the broadcast? <laughs> what banana? Right there, behind you. No, eat it as fast as you can. I'm allergic to bananas. I'm allergic to bananas. I'm allergic to bananas. No, he's not. I'm allergic to bananas. Are you lying to Dave? The two pieces of Okay, all right, come on. No, but I'm not missing. No, yeah, you are. You're right. As fast as you can. I actually hate bananas. Is that what it is? That makes it worse. I hate bananas. Fast banana. Everyone's saying it. Fast banana. Fast banana. Fast banana. Fast banana. Fast People aren't going to buy the fight now. You have to eat the People literally aren't going to buy the fight. Come on. Quick as you can. Go as fast as you can. That's why you got to go quick. People aren't going to buy the fight. Look at this. Everyone's saying fast banana. Fast banana. Fast banana. Come on, Billy. Billy, come on. He's trying to creep you. No, he's. I don't. Go. Go. It's fast banana. Fast banana. I actually don't like bananas. Go. Do it up a zone. And by the way, a lot of people are like we gotta buy a subscription. As far as I know, if you just want to get this, first of all, there's gonna be Triple G versus uh, Canelo, so you're gonna have it anyways to watch it. But you can cancel prescription. I mean subscription. Yes. All right, let's go. Fast banana. Oh, yeah. as quick as Here we go. I don't like banana. Here we go. That's why Three, you quick. Two, you already one. one. You already pot committed. This. Three, two, one. Go. Like go. go. You're pot committed. It's go. In the hand. This is for the people. Go. Dude, I hate like, bananas. This is, this I hate is I pathetic. Why was so you eating p- bananas, Hank? Didn't you eat them like with the skin or something? This no, is such like an L. This is such an L. I will take the out. I eat it fast. I hate bananas. Eat it. All right. We gotta go. All right. There he goes. Oh, God. I don't want to see. All right. That was. I'm sorry to everyone. That was so bad. No, he just spit it out. That was the king of the That was so pathetic. I gotta show this kid. I gotta show this kid what the fuck. We have what it means to be a man. Yes. These sheets. Am I supposed to take? You could take one. Yeah. What it means to be a man. I don't know. Just in case, take these two. <laughs> this is the. This is the okay? bigger, okay. Okay. No, no, that's what a man does. All right, thank luck, you. Guys. Let's have Talk a great fight. Upset than that? Yeah, but like Tyson, Buster Douglas, and shit like that. There definitely has, but that. I mean, he wasn't that. Like that was like forty to one was Tyson Douglas. The scorecard was an absolute joke. You thought it should be wider? 
way, way wider. Well, it was amazing because we witnessed, I don't know, I, I'm not, I don't pretend to be like the greatest boxing historian, but I'd probably say that's top 10, top 15 upsets ever. Like Canelo in his prime, the pound for pound, it just didn't lose, he got dominated. Um, so it made an electric fight. The crowd was stunned, everybody was stunned. The rest of the card kind of blew, um, but it was a fucking awesome night. If I, but if Serrano, I, I, I judge everything by Serrano Taylor, which we went to, and that was a 10, this is like an eight. It was crazy to call it. I'm coming for you! Yeah! What a night to be a rough and rowdy fan! You want to call yourself Lights Out Lang? I'm officially taking your nickname because you're a fraud. I, I just beat an NFL athlete. You beat two heroin addicts. Now the big one, Alex! Oh, oh, goodness! Backwards elbow, that can't be legal. They got and one of the strongest pound pound dwarfs in the world. What? They are unconscious as throwing punches at each other! People should feel the worst for me today. Yeah, I, I think I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. It's a, uh, yeah. Fun job. How are you doing? How are Getting you? swirlied. At least you look cool. I look just like Travis Pastrana. <laughs> Man, wow. So my loyal friends. Four thousand people watching right now. To start is a lot. How many? Four. Usually, like we get. Usually, we we get like six, six and a half, but it takes like ten or fifteen minutes. It's more than people waiting. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus fuck. We're gonna have to give them a fucking show. Pressure's on, boys. Thank God for content creators like Hank, Rhea, and Marty, man. They make fucking just great ass content that they can give us. It's crazy that people think it's real. I know. Yeah. People are dumb. People are like, we couldn't come up with something yeah. like this. Easily. Ho! Oh! All the boys are back. Yes. Owen's grabbing me a coffee. Yeah. Gone for two weeks and you send them well, away. Well, I had to, you know, it was it, it was like when uh, Joey Bats gets out of prison. He's like, go get your shine box real quick. Mm -hmm. And now he's going to stab me with a pen later on today. <laughs> it's Billy Bats. Yeah, Billy Bats, whatever. Fuck. Hey, no hard feelings, Nick. Can yeah, I man. stay or should we all go on? Wipes. Shout out Dude Wipes. No, you guys. Oh, my God. Back here. So we stay here. They we're really we're in the it. studio. Okay. Oh, what the fuck is that? What's in there? Oh, God. Wait, there's the shit toilet. in there. There's actual shit in there. Yeah, no. Wait oh, a minute. Go, look at go, 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 go look at it. That's Dookie. Oh. Gee. oh, that's he can't. He can't. He can't swirly with the Dookie. There's shit in there. Can we wipe the shit? Can we wipe the shit? We have dude wipes. And can we ask that person to stop leaving shit there? Yeah. All right. Let's go, Nick. This sucks, dude. If this, this was me, sucks. if this was me, I would have left the office. You would have? I would have. I would have. Not pussied out, but pussied out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What is a right. toilet yeah. change? Go to a different toilet. Oh. Yeah. All right, I think we're the most exciting. Uh, yeah, this is a good commentary. Crew. <laughs> this is a very good commentary crew. All right, so they're scrubbing the toilet now. Is that wait? Is that fresh bleach? What is shampoo? That? Shampoo. I see. So he'll get his eyes uh, torn up yeah, too. Yeah, they'll they'll bleed. That better. Right. Respect, though. <laughs> That's worse. That's worse. Uh, now I'm starting to shampoo in my eyes. <laughs> so much. Worse. Oh, that's better than shit. <laughs> oh, that's a good. It's a good. You know that toilet flushes so hard. How did that shit hang on for dear life? Yeah. Dude, this is so clean, Nick. Yeah, all right. Put me in it then, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Take your hat off, Nick. All right, here we go. Dude Nicky's getting Mike, laced. Yeah, yeah, get used to. Is he really? No glasses, Nikki. Yeah, you guys gotta. I'm going to fight back a little bit. Yeah, you have to. Oh, yeah. 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 I'll go legs. Someone's gonna. He looks fine with no oh. glasses, but I feel like on, when wait, someone first fourth, takes off their glasses, when you've never seen them without glasses, it's like unsettling. Oh, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Was Nick on the wheel? He uh, he tried doing anus without them. Kyle made it. Oh, get in here. Oh, you're supposed to be in there. Oh, what? Why was Owen supposed to be in there? Why? Owen. Wait, oh, was I on the wheel? That dumb. Oh, I don't yeah, know. yeah. I went. What was so, I doing? Doing another flush again? So who's not on? It? Yeah, that's <laughs> me. And you were the me and you got eliminated. The only they flushes. got eliminated. Oh, uh, okay. Or one, I don't care. No, I think it was Swirly's two flushes. All right. I thought it was you four. Well, no. Nick that was Nick and Swirly. Yeah. Swirly yeah. Was he on the wheel? Was I on the wheel? Yeah. Oh, Nick wasn't on the wheel. <laughs> ah! All right. All right. Here it goes. 
Oh, he's going <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh, small hole. Oh, a small hole. Oh, God. Fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the fucking boys! I would kill to be in there. The fucking boys, and we're stuck out here. We're having so much fun. You, big cat, you really you gagging? I'm good. I'm good. I know. That was an unreal move. By oh, him. that was a fantastic move. Way to go, Nick. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I pitched out there. Oh, I'm sorry. I completely used you as a meat shield. <laughs> like a mountain range. <laughs> on a map. Oh, there's so much shit, like, under that rim. I'm 100%. It's the water stopped here so I could breathe the entire time, but it so much water went in my eyeballs that if I don't have to die. Yeah, walk us through that. Uh, I mean, you got, did you guys get as wet as I did? I got sweet. Yeah. You just got it all over my guy, face. I almost, almost. I guess we deserved it. <sighs> that was. <laughs> that is. Bu bullying's got to stop. <laughs> it took till now to realize. And that was brought to you by our good friend, Stephen Che. Uh -huh. And dude wipes. Dude wipes. Like, like hit my I hit 20 for 20 percent off your order. I hit my forehead off the porcelain. Is it like? <laughs> yeah, it's a little red. Yeah. <laughs>
dead ass serious. Nobody on the microphone. You have not signed up for the Barstool Sportsbook. Now is the time. Tonight, you are giving away $10,000 on the Barstool Sportsbook. Sign up to the Barstool Sportsbook right now, and you can win $10,000 on the Barstool I Casino. If you have not done it, that's stupid. All right, all right. I feel good. Point boy with a number 50. I'm Bentley Another 50 subs. We're gonna win some money today. We're gonna win some money today. Let's go. Only at Green Lights have a grill, baby. Shout out to Barfield Sportsbook. I can see it all. We're gonna make some money online. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. 1.42 is single handedly keeping Marty at Barfield Sports. He's single handedly giving this man a job till February and then maybe after. Who knows? Sign up right now. Get on the March Live and see how they start putting bets. The more money you bet, the more chance you got to win $10,000. Do it right now. I'm going to say that's why we're doing this. $10,000. So Marty went on the Dave Portner show to talk to Dave about this, and Dave pretty much said, you are an auxiliary character in this performance that is Barstool. If Dave and Dan do not partner with you, do not make content with you, do not create with you, you're not doing anything here. And that's where we are now. How's the week going, Marty? Good stuff, man. <laughs> Things out there, he's warm. Uh, someone will grab one. Uh, I think Daddy wants to talk to you first. <laughs> End of the hour. Hi, Rudy. Handsome Hank. How we doing? Good, man. You look like you're giddy. You're happy. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm on. I've been floating since last night. Like my hero. The greatest person in my entire life tweeted at me, showed my showed support for me, and it's just insane. Like I, I'm floating. I'm on cloud nine. I don't really know. I don't really know what to say. I'm not even say this for the camera. You have a you have a glow about you and like a smile that like yeah. I've never seen you like. Light up a room. Huh? Yeah. I mean it's it's been a weird fucking 48 hours. Like not necessarily something that I was expecting to be like so giddy over, but like you know. The Lord works in mysterious ways. Things happen, and somehow, some way, this ended up being like the best night of my life. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. That that is the best night of your life. Like that, like the self, like that happened in the first half. I like couldn't even focus on the Celtics game. I was like, just like, literally, like floating. Like it was an out of body experience. And the Celtics had like an unbelievable comeback win in the fourth quarter. Like I was just going nuts. And then yeah, I was just like, the aftermath was great. It was great. It was a great night. I wonder, like, that means that he must have been thinking about, like, he's thought about you. And, yeah. And this was the moment where he was like, all right, it's time. This might be, like, oh, you know, a little over dramatic or a little bit, like, thinking too much into it, but <laughs> in my mind, Brady and Edelman were texting about me and then came the to the decision that they had to show support for me. And, like, that's insane. <laughs> it is insane. Like, they're like, yo, like, Brady hit up Edelman being like, we got to ride for our guy, Hank. We gotta ride out. That's what that's what riders do. That's what that's what riders do. The only shame is they that they show not. support for each other. The only the only bummer is that it's not football season. Because if you were doing this and then carrying this into a football Sunday, that would be fun. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I would want that. <laughs> I don't care about the timing. It's been it's twenty years. 
20 years of my life. Me and Rhea, four years, you know, not a short amount of time, but no. Tom's been the most important person in my life for 20. Like some things. Good point. It's a good point. <laughs> um, so now because of that, you're about to go into the Jay Porno show. What's going to be your demeanor in there? What's going to be your approach? I'm like, again, like I was honestly never like as worked up about it as a lot of other people here were, to be honest with you. I think that's just because I've had more time to adjust the situation. I had already moved on, but now it's like somehow like in a weird fucked up no, way, I, I, I'm like appreciative of their relationship. Like their relationship has brought me joy. Like when I think about them, I'm just gonna think about them. me and Tom. And it's like, oh, you know, that's, the, I, I'll make that trade. Like it's a good trade. You wanna say thank you to Rhea Morton? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks guys. This, have you guys interacted at all? Uh, a little bit. For us, yeah. So, I mean, I, hey, I've just relayed the whole thing. Um, I don't know what more there is to add on this, except the one thing, and, and, and it's a weird position, and from what I've gathered, Hank's like, I don't really want to talk about it originally, is what Dan said to me on the phone. Obviously, the thing's kind of blown up. My, you know, my thing, my main thing, Hank, and, and you'll clear this, you're, you're not cool with this, correct? You weren't cool with it. I mean, cool, like, it's not really my decision whether or not to be, like, cool with it. Rhea, Rhea told me, she, you know, called me. I obviously, like, gave her my feedback and was like, this is insane that you're doing this, yada, yada, yada. But she, you know, defended her actions and was like, this is what I'm doing. I, I, I know that people are going to be mad. Like, she's a grown woman. She can make that decision, like, whether or not I agree with it. I still have to respect it. So it's just like, I don't. I'm not like cool with it, but it's also like, what am I supposed to do? Like we're broken up. We've been broken up. It's obviously not an ideal situation, but the way it all played out, like four years dating Rhea, you know, a long time, a lot of feelings, all that stuff. But like Tom Brady, 20 years, true love, some of the greatest nights of my life. Like if you could have told me that I would have to deal with, you know, my ex-girlfriend dating Marty Mush or, but the flip side, like the trade machine is that. You know, you get your your unwavering love and support from your hero. Like, I'm probably I'm probably clicking make that trade. So that's where it's like, so I, the, my my anger and frustration was about the fact that I was gonna have to deal with it. Like I, after breaking nobody up with, should have to after breaking I, no, up with Rhea. Yeah, it sucks to nobody nobody you nobody 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 should be put in this position. It is what it is. Like I said, I I, I don't know. I I my crystal ball would be that they both are gone at some point. It'll be Rhea's decision, it won't be Marty's. But who knows that, that could just, change. Got it, that's pretty crazy, but. It's good knowing you guys. All right, boys, what is this? What's this big project you guys got? It's the future in cinema. Barstool is now gonna take on the movies. We are coming up with an idea. It's a throwback movie, it's a modern movie, it's crazy, and it's gonna have everyone that you can imagine in Barstool in it, and it's gonna be a hit. It's gonna, it's gonna be the one way winner of the Oscars. You're gonna laugh, you're gonna cry, and you're gonna wonder why this didn't come to your life any earlier. Yes. I don't know what to add to that. That was perfect. That was beautiful. Uh, tomorrow, Frank and I will be screening the first four episodes of our docu-series about trying to make this Barstool movie at a small theater at an undisclosed location. Uh, we have some executives, Corporate Hank. We invited Erica and sent a package to Dave. and a uh, bunch of other folks, and hopefully by the end of the screening, we'll have the green light to make the first Barstool movie. If it gets green light, when, when can people expect it to come out? Well, uh, 
it, it takes time for good movies, so maybe, maybe a year from now. Yeah, I think we'll go with that. <laughs> Perfect. Is all you wanted? Yeah, 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 that's great. And then we'll just play the. I mean, later. if you rush a project, you can end up with the uh, the, the Star Wars sequel trilogy where nobody knew what they wanted to do, and it was just um um um. What should we do next? What should we do next? Uh, uh, Emperor. Yeah, bring him back to life. How are we gonna do it? Uh, 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 okay, there's a good idea. Yes, we mm -hmm. are trying to avoid that with our film. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sweet. Awesome. Nice. Cool. My name is Michelangelo. Michelangelo. And this is a cinematic docu-series about trying to make a movie with one of the great creative minds of our generation. How are you, Frank? All right. Bonded by our shared histories of trying to make our own films in the past, Frank and I will come together to try to bring the genius inside his head onto the silver screen. What kind of movie would you like to make? I always like the part where everyone dies in The Departed. Frank, I think this is going to be a dark film. <laughs> Hopefully, with the help of Barstool's resources and reach, Frank and I will write, shoot, and edit the beautiful revenue-generating film that I know may not only change Barstool... This is on you, Michelangelo, right? ...but the movie industry as a whole. We're gonna make a movie, Frank. We're gonna make a movie. Look out!